So this one about the starfish, there are a few different issues going on throughout the question. First thing I'll point out is that starfish have. So we know that starfish have to be plural here. Starfish have, because it's with a plural verb. And so any place that it's referred to by it would be incorrect. For example, in A, if an arm is lost, it replaces it. It refers to starfish. So that's incorrect. If one is lost, one arm is lost, and it is replaced, the single arm. They lose one arm, they replace it. All the pronouns are correct. They lose one arm, then they are replaced. Well, the starfish aren't replaced. The arms are, are replaced. So that's also a pronoun error. And then they lose one arm, it is quickly replaced. So that's just a count of the pronouns. That eliminates two answers. The next thing we'll look at is in an if-then clause, it flows much better and is generally much clearer if, a, if X and Y have the same structure. That is, say, they're both active or both passive. So notice that in A, we have one arm is lost passive it replaces it active, so we have a mismatch there. So that's another problem with A. In B, we have one is lost, then it is replaced. Okay, so passive, passive. They lose one arm, they replace it, active, active. Lose, are replaced, so active, passive. Lose one arm, it is quickly replaced, so active, passive. So E is out on that count also. And finally, the way that it ends, overcompensating and growing another arm, well, that's very clear what they're doing. But overcompensating, comma, growing one arm, well, something's a little unclear there. They are replacing the arm by overcompensating, comma, growing, growing one or two more arms. The structure there is unclear. And so this is an unclear structure whereas this is much more clear. So then C is out also, and that leaves us with the best answer, which is B, which has all the pronouns correct. It has the parallel structure as far as the tenses of the verbs. It has the right ending. It is by far the best answer choice.